Uh, yeah, you know, Tuesday again. I, I mean, I don't feel much different than about what how the guys were uh, compared to last Tuesday, the Tuesday before. I mean, they're just consistently uh, doing things really well every week in practice. So um, it was one of those deals where I just appreciate coaching these guys, and uh, they'll be ready to go. With that, I... Chase got injured um, mm -hmm. in the first half. How do you feel like he held up before that? Oh, I thought he held up well before that. You know, I think he played, you know, right around 20 snaps, 21 snaps, um, and held up well. You know, but Maude did a good job when he came in there as well. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, a few few other things. If it could have gone a certain way, you know, you know, might have been a little bit different. But it didn't. And uh, But I thought both those guys handled the situation well. It's always tough, too, coming off the bench when you haven't gotten starter reps during the week. You know, and that's, that's one of the toughest things. Is the quarterback situation this week going to be handled similarly to last week where you have some things to evaluate as the week goes on? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, Chase hasn't been cleared yet, you know, so I mean, Devon's practiced really well. So that's where we're at today, and we'll know more later in the week. Is there a certain period where even if he's cleared later in the week, or sort of too late to get him ready for the game? Yeah, we just have to decide that, and that's, you know, for Coach Wilcox and I to sit down and ultimately Coach Wilcox, you know, to, to decide what's, uh, what's the best fit. Has Chase been cleared to do anything? Or is he he's doing a little, but he wasn't. Yeah, he's doing a little bit. He is, but, but he hasn't been cleared team. to be out there. Yeah, full but team reps. Nope. But he's not cleared to play a game. Either. Nope, couldn't have today. Coach, what's the extent of Brown's injury? You know, I think uh, he's he's in the same boat Chase is. So it'll be something where uh, you know we're just we're just hoping that he can be cleared, you know, during this week, which you know they just anticipate he could be. But again, we're just kind of we're just kind of waiting. You know, up to the doctors and trainers. So can we anticipate more Collins? Uh, What's that? Can we anticipate more Collins? It's possible. I, I think regardless of whether Brown plays or not, you know, Collins is still continuing to build on his role, especially since he's been healthier in the in the second half of the season. What can you say? What does he have? Collins? Yeah. He definitely he has the ability to just the one thing I'll say about him, he has a lot of different things he does well. His vision between the tackles is really good. He has the ability and you see it on some of the runs, uh, not just this last game, but even at the end of the Utah game, he can put his foot in the ground and get get going. I mean he has some explosive stuff and he can break some tackles. I mean, he made a guy miss down there in the red zone. I mean there's and in the red zone that's the way it is sometimes. There's gonna be an unblocked player. You know, but that guy was right there at the line of scrimmage, made a miss on that touchdown. So he has a lot of uh, natural tailback ability. You know, that's the best thing I can say. Stuff that you can't necessarily teach, and he can just, he can do it, he can see it, he can break a tackle when he needs to. So, and he's a, he's a serious kid. And not, I mean, kid, young, he's a young man. I mean, he's a, he is, he's mature, but he's very serious. So he's very, you know, and I mean that in a good way. He's very focused on, on continuing to, uh, you know, to just work it. And, you know, quite frankly, he probably would have been playing more at the beginning of the year. He was just fighting through a couple of injuries. Coach, with Pope coming of age as a mm -hmm. late, uh, he mm -hmm. scored a touchdown against Washington mm -hmm. State. Mm -hmm. Can you rate his progression of what we've seen so far uh, during the course of the season? Yeah, I think it's exactly what you would think out of a freshman. You know, where I'm excited. I, I love the kid. I just, I love being around him. He's got a great energy. And for a guy who only turned 18, I think, in September. So he's even young compared to most freshmen. Um, so you always expect those guys to have some of the biggest jumps in the last three to four games of the year. And that's no different with Makai. You saw it against WSU. And even at times in this game, you know, he made a great catch on the sideline. I know it was ruled out of bounds, but did some things to where it's like, all right, you're going to see some of his best football late in the year. And that's what I think, you know, we'll see with Makai. What was your assessment of the offensive line against I thought they did a great job. I mean, USC's, uh, you know, that's a top-tier defensive front, you know, and, and they're a team that went and beat Utah, you know, so they've got some juice to them. You know, I know they've lost a couple probably they wish they had back, and they had a few injuries at different spots, and it's, it's tough for everybody. But what our O-line was able to do against those guys, I, uh, you know, it's not perfect, but you know, they competed their tail off against a lot of very good players up front, both in the run game and the pass game. You know, both in pass pro, we had time to, you know, to, to get downfield and do certain things. And then in the run game, uh, we were able to be productive, uh, especially early before it got, you know, a little bit out of hand. With that, what do you see in uh, Stanford's defense coming up this week? They play incredible team defense. And that's not taking anything away. And I know, you know, one of their, you know, stud corners is probably out and different things like that. But when you watch the young corners are, very good too. Uh, the D front, even if 
even if there isn't like that, let's say that marquee guy that everyone talks about, when you watch all 11 of them play team defense, it's as good as I've seen, you know, so far this year. So I, I respect, you know, how they play together, just how well they're coached, how disciplined they are, how they play together, and they make it tough on people, you know. Um, and so you just, you got to earn everything, and you've seen that. I mean, they're a team that, you know, beat the Huskies, you know, and, and uh, you know, and as been in some, you know, even in some tight ball games with some other teams, and some of it has been because of their defense at times. So I, I have great respect for the way they play defense. Oh my God, that's amazing. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you.